Hi, so my name is Bertrand from the Brisbane Headache and Migraine Clinic and I've just actually finished a course here today and I've met up with a wonderful lady called Erin here. Hi. Hi Erin. And um, today we were, or yesterday we were talking a bit about Erin's, um, she has been having um, headaches or migraines as well. So I thought it would be a good um, little interview to do to share what you have been experiencing um, and then hopefully whether I can diagnose exactly what you have been having yeah. as well. So Erin, is it possible if you can um, just briefly explain to us, you know, what have you been suffering from? Uh, so I get migraines <coughs> and my symptoms include loss of vision, I get numbness, you know, ranges from down the left side to my body to yeah. all over to kind of in my arm, in my tongue. Mm. and I will feel very disorientated mm -hmm. uh, during the whole process. I usually get pretty tired and yeah. I have uh, been slurring my words during some episodes as yeah. well. Yeah, and um, you've told me before that you don't really get much um, pain in the head though, is that correct? No, so yeah. I very rarely get a headache. I've had 10 to 15 migraines since I was 13, so that's 12. 15 years, I think. Mm -hmm. well, that's showing my yep. age. Um, so I, they're very infrequent, um, mm -hmm. and I've only ever had a headache once, and it mm. lasted about three days. Yeah, okay. So very rarely would Erin get a type of pain in the head, but you do get symptoms like a losing vision. Yes. Can you describe what, what that is, like what you get? Uh, so I've had that once where mm -hmm. I've had complete loss of vision, and mm -hmm. it's been like 15 seconds all up and mm. it would just completely black out and mm. then I kind of had pulsating rings of vision and it just slowly came back into like full vision mm. and mm. then most other times it's just kind of like a spot that I can't see so I'll mm. be looking directly at something mm. and I won't be able to see what's directly in front of me and mm. I can see around it mm. and I've also lost peripheral vision of course yeah. as well so okay. Mm. It's kind of like an out of body feeling. Yeah, very common for migraine sufferers to have some type of vision loss or vision issues. You also get um, pins and needles and numbness in your body, is that yes. right? And does that usually happen on one side of the body or usually all over? It's kind of different every single time. So mm. the first time <coughs> it was just down the left hand side of my body. Mm -hmm. uh, there was another time where it's traveled from the top of my head down one side, straight back up, and then down the other side. Mm, so mm. it's it's always different. Yeah, and I presume when you get that, do you, do you may f do do you feel as if you're maybe a bit weak in the arm and the legs as well because you're getting a bit of that numbness? Yeah, a little bit weak. Mm -hmm. It's it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. I think I feel kind of the disorientation plus kind of feeling tired is probably more what I feel Weak rather gets, than yeah. weakness. Okay, all right, so. What does Erin have? And if we were to diagnose Erin, um, you know, what, what is she suffering from? So basically, when, when we um, ask Erin a bit more questions, we seem to be suffering uh, primarily from uh, silent migraines. And it's called silent migraine because Erin doesn't necessarily get pain in the head as such. No real severe pain. Only one time where she had an actual headache, but the rest of the years have just been no pain in the head. So that's why it's called silent headache. Um, another term that she can be getting at times is something called hemiplegic migraine. So hemiplegic migraine is usually when um, you can get symptoms like pins and needles or numbness, which can extend down one half of the body. Now, when someone gets that, it can be very scary. Um, it can feel like as if they're getting a stroke. Yes. Um, and then they want to rush off to hospital. Um, did you have that at all? Or? Uh, so we went to my GP first, and yep. she recommended that we transfer to the MARA and an ambulance. Mm -hmm. And I was 13, and my mother said, no, that will freak her out. So mm -hmm. she drove me in, but they, they really thought I'd had a stroke at yeah. 13 years old. At 13 years of age. Yeah. Quite rare to have that at 13 <laughs> years of age. But again, um, a classic sign of hemiplegic migraine mimics a stroke like symptoms um, and so there you have it yeah. so um, what Erin is suffering from is silent migraines and also a type of silent hemiplegic migraine which is something that can be definitely treated at, uh, for fortunately Erin um, gets this very infrequently um, about one or two times or maybe once every few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah very infrequent, and I have no idea what triggers them. Yep. So, so very lucky. Um, but if Erin does get any more problems, like if it becomes more persistent, then it's something that she can definitely come and see us for, and we should be able to definitely help her out. Yep. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks. Thanks, Erin. Bye bye.